Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Mario Sign. Please dance with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, March 14, 2022. I hope you enjoyed your fabulous weekend. Now let's take a relaxing brain break to kick off this amazing week. For today's brain break in SEL Technique, we'll be showing you a little skit representing how to deal with stress. Okay, class, 15 minutes before your test is study. 15 minutes. Use it wisely. Man, I'm so stressed about this test. I think I'm going to fail, but I can't disappoint my mom. See, when people are stressed, they tend to make negative decisions. Stress doesn't always have to be bad. Instead of feeling stressed out, use that feeling to motivate you to do something good. Now let's see if destiny can have a different outcome. Okay class, 15 minutes before your test is study. 15 minutes, use it wisely. Are you okay? No, I don't want to fail this test because I don't want to disappoint my mom. Oh, well, when I'm stressed for a test, I usually take a moment to take a deep breath and then I list out some good studying materials I can use or ask a friend for studying materials. Oh, maybe I should try that. I'm glad I could help. In this example, Angelie gives great advice for when you are stressed for an upcoming test. Like the example they said, you can first calm down by breathing peacefully, find ways you can prepare for the test, or ask a friend for the studying material. So relax with me next time for our Brain Break and SEL Technique. Now it's time for our Word of the Day segment. Hey Angelie, how do you think you did on your math test? Oh, I think I did very well because I was very meticulous with choosing my answers. By meticulous, you mean careful and particular, right? Yeah, I made sure to do all the work before choosing an answer. Oh, okay, that's good. I'm sure you'll pass. Let's hope so. See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the Day. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Wani. Sports fans, today we look at the history of the badminton racket. The game originated in India and was called Pune, and was later changed to what we now know as badminton. The rackets used to hit the shuttlecocks, otherwise called birdie, were first made from timber. They were a bit heavy and the small strings were made from animal guts. Professional players developed lighter rackets made from aluminum over time to help their speed. Nowadays, the rackets are carbon fiber and have nylon strings. Let's make some racket for this wonderful tool. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott! Today's lunch is popcorn chicken, baked beans, sunsplash veggie juice, applesauce, barbecue sauce, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teacher know if you will be receiving lunch today. But if it's let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Sonia. That sounds delicious. Happy Pi Day, Patriots. Today is March 14th, which is 3.14. Today, we have a special challenge for all the homerooms with a sweet prize. Teachers, when you receive the Pi Challenge for today, the first teacher in grades K to 2nd, 3rd to 5th, and 6th to 8th that submit the correct answer with their class will be, get an opportunity to pie an administrator in the face. Simple as pie and best of luck! Congratulations to all the Patriots that made it to the Glow Party. Let's check out a few of our Patriots here.
scholars, the Rex Pines Writing Camp starts in two weeks. At this camp, you will have the opportunity to review writing tips and test strategies. It starts on March 28th and ends on April 1st. Take a look at the flyer for more information. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thank you, Vani. Hey, Patriots. Today you should expect 78 degrees Fahrenheit with nice cloudy skies. There may be some wind, so take this chance to go out. Maybe even fly a kite. And other weather news. Daylight saving time is here. Daylight saving time began yesterday on March 13th at 2 a.m. If you didn't know, daylight saving is the practice of advancing clocks during warmer months so that darkness falls at a later clock time. Fun fact. Daylight saving time takes up 65% of the entire year. Make sure your clock is still set to the right time. Now let's go to Destiny and Chanel for today's trends. Thank you, Randy. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Nike is releasing a new shoe collection in April. The Fruity Pack features these colorful shoes, green apple, cherries, blueberries, and pineapple. I should check them out. It's the last week, Patriots. Spring break starts on Thursday and ends on the 27th. It's a great time to do a spring cleaning, throw a pool party, or a family barbecue. A pool party sounds like a splash. I guess Apple really is in the St. Patty spirit. Apple has recently released a new iPhone, but it's green. Hey Destiny, does it count if you're holding green instead of wearing it? Maybe, but I wouldn't risk it. A new Star Wars series is on the way. The Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer has been released and revealed a couple details. The show stars a young Luke Skywalker, the return of Anakin Skywalker, and so much more. I wonder how Darth Vader will feel. That's it, Patriots. Thank you, Destiny and Chanel. Today's birthday boys and girls are Jean Carlos Contreras Molina and Jaden Gabbard. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Bonnie. Scholars, here are your pet's expectations. They represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for last week's trivia winners, they are Miss Only and Miss Shadid. You two had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, how old Yoda? The correct answer is 900 years old. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What is the name of the hamsters in Disney's Bolt? Teachers, please send your answers to pines at at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!